Alan Masaoka has become a friend of mine through our mutual enjoyment of the annual Burning Man Arts Festival. I asked him to meet me out on what's called the Playa in the center of this spontaneous city, which this year had a population of over 48,000 people attending the week leading up to Labor Day. First, let me introduce Alan, who was raised in San Francisco and has been working with glass since 1975, having had master training at Pilchuck Glass School in Washington. He settled in Carmel Valley, California 20 years ago and established Masaoka Glass Design. Alan's work has been exhibited widely throughout the United States, including both his art class pieces and his extensive range of architectural commissions. How can you summon the muse? It's not always there. It takes the right moment and the right time. So I cr create from a lot of my past experiences of life. And I'm turning 60 in a few weeks. So, you know, I got a lot to draw from. So it's, it's yeah. really creative. So, uh, you know, it's just like, it's like laughter. You know, it just happens from within. And you draw upon that laughter, that little funny feeling. That little funny feeling is like creativity. The, the muse is alive and well within. Yeah. And I, and I think it, it, and maybe it has to do with age. Maybe because through my experience, and you kind of think, well, you know, in your 20s and 30s, you're trying to push the limits for something. I don't need to push anymore. Or they, what they say is that everything's been done in art. So maybe my mind is like a record of so much I've seen that bits and pieces come together and I, and I can create that. And it's like an explosion from within and it just happens. But then I have these moments where it's painful. There is a fear factor because, you know, like when an artist is, is performing, there's a fear for their audience not to love it. So there's always that fear from within, which is uh, not healthy. Because you don't want to do that, because then it's, then it's not really who you are. You're trying to perform for them. But you really, you want to perform for yourself. And then when it comes out like that, then it's really love. And it's truly the gift you give them, because that, they want a gift. When they're hiring you as an artist, they want a gift from you to them for them to love. I do mainly stained glass work. That's what I was trained in and what I really enjoy doing uh -huh. is working with clients and developing designs. Something like work like this where it's, um, I don't know, I think there's Asian side to it. The work has kind of a painterly quality. Well, yeah, calligraphic, almost yeah, sumi. More, I see. More sumi like. Like I like to um, use the lead so it just doesn't hold the glass together. Mm. Using the lead as an artistic element, whereas more traditional stained glass, they just the lead you use just to hold the glass together. Yeah, I mean this this is a solid piece right up to here. Right. Where does it? And what's where happening? Does it, where does yeah, it end? you got me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So what's going on here, by the way? This is a commission I got from the city of San Francisco. Uh -huh. It's a window for the uh, communication and control building of the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir. Uh -huh. And my proposal is to do a map of the reservoir system from the reservoir oh, yeah? to the pipeline across the state to the Bay Area. Oh, wonderful. And yeah, the topographical really uh -huh. asks uh -huh. for that, doesn't right. it? Right. Oh, that's great. Come on. Look at that. I mean, how creative could that be? That's just beautiful. And, you know, he might not consider himself an artist, but Bernie Mann is about gifting and the gift that he's giving to a lot of people to make them smile. I have a, a friend that I recently made through my art. I made a window for her entryway and it makes her smile every day of her life. She puts a chair in front of it like every day when she kind of feels, she's elderly, she wants to feel, um, I don't know, maybe she's down for some reason. She'll, she'll sit in front of my window and just gaze at it. And, and to me, I mean, what, what more can I give to someone? I mean, it's like I'm giving these little gifts to people 
and it's part it, it it integrates into part of their lives and so I have like you know who min, who, who knows how many windows out there gifting the people making them smile throughout the day I went into glass just because it felt good you know there was a feeling I, I felt with it I love cutting it I love the light how, how I look at it through the sun how it shimmers I just like the feeling it has so I, well, I just kind of went into it for that for my own delight and I found that it delights people so okay this is cool <laughs> it, yeah so it's almost like the feeling I got from the first time I saw glass they're getting every moment of their lives right. so so we have something else coming in back of it it's kind of neat And again, he probably doesn't see himself as an artist, but it's something that he thought, oh, I have this vision, I'm going to create it. And that vision that they saw of the horses, and it's going to stay in their minds. And someday they're going to draw upon that. You know what I saw at Burning Man? Let me tell you about it. So these little acts of love, each of us can do that. And I hope through my work, it's a little act of love that I give to people. And, and, and it's like blowing a kiss to someone in their lives. And I think everyone that looks at this, they can, they can look at themselves and look at their heart. Say, oh yeah, I can do something. Go to the beach and pick up some trash. I can do something. And then someone sees you pick up trash and they think, oh, God, I can do that someday. So they'll pick up a trash bag. Someday I go to the beach. So I think this world's going to keep going, you know. It's not going to fall apart because people are going to feel those and see those experiences and bring it back into their world in some way and heal their world or their life. And then someone else is going to see that. I think when I create my art, people see that creativity that they can relate to and, they, and part of my being successful is creating that um, human instinct that they can relate to. And um, it brings joy to their lives. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Wallace. Thank you. <laughs>